after a blog post from the company's chairman. Channel 9 Sarah Putman spoke to a cast member today about the update. Sierra, she says it's about time, but some other Disney fans say they still have some concerns. Vanessa, some Disney fans worry that it won't be the same family-friendly Disney. The cast member I spoke to says she think it will be a subtle change, but make a world of a difference for some of her co-workers. To create a world where everyone belongs. The saying is cast members like Gabby Alcantara are the magic makers. She works at Magic Kingdom's Frontierland. So do you get to interact with guests a lot? Yeah, that's that's the main part of my job. It's really fun. Higher than 2013, she's glad the Disney look is now more gender inclusive for her LGBTQ co-workers. Thrilled. Um, you know, this is such a long time coming. Here's the new Disney look brochure. It now allows certain visible tattoos. To be clear, that does not apply to, say, a Disney princess. Uh, it was time for a necessary update to some of these uh, standards. Disney fan Josephine Mazzolo is concerned other changes, like expanding who can wear nail polish, goes too far. And at first, I glanced at it, didn't think twice about it until I took a second look. I was like, oh, come on, you know. How necessary is this? That concerns her. Would that be enough for you not to visit Walt Disney World? No. I feel like this is pulling a thread. I feel like this is pulling a little loose thread that's there, and I feel that it could easily possibly get out of hand. Brian Miles with the Lake Buena Vista Historical Society says this, like past updates, including this one from the 80s, offers a subtle but powerful shift that expands the talent pool. If you want to attract the best talent and, and fill all your positions, Disney look standards also in large part apply to backstage cast as well. To worried visitors, Gabby says Disney service standards won't change. It's been the same Disney the whole time. And, you know, the a lot of attention is paid to, to the change of the Disney look, but the company says this is a much bigger cultural change. We're going to talk about how it's slowly becoming more inclusive over time and the fact that it plans to keep making small changes over time. Reporting live in Orlando, Sierra Pupman Channel 9, Eyewitness News. It was working to be more inclusive last night and updating the Disney look. Well, tonight we're digging deeper into what that means for your next trip to the parks. Channel 9's Sarah Putman is live outside Walt Disney World. Sarah, the company says this is more than just a wardrobe update. You know, Vanessa, Disney says this is really a company-wide shift, and it's really focused on making sure this company is more reflective of the world we live in. Welcome. 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 Part of Disney's charm comes from the four keys. Safety, courtesy, show, and efficiency. Now there's a fifth, inclusion. Cast members like Gabby Anderson say... Like everyone's going to be welcome. To extend that now to their employment practices uh, is really the best show that you can have, and Disney's always concerned with having a good show. Brian Miles with the Lake Buena Vista Historical Society says Disney adapts each generation. This change updates the Disney look and will allow some visible tattoos, nail polish for anyone, and gets rid of hair length standards. Inclusion also extends to rides. Disney is changing Splash Mountain to feature its first black princess, Tiana, and distance itself from the racially insensitive Song of the South movie. Really say whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because I think it's a little subjective. I will say for me, it's very positive. Josephine Mazzola says she doesn't love that the changes are linked to politics. Does it need to have a spotlight? No, just do what you need to do. You know, let's not make such a big deal. Cast members like Gabby don't think the changes will tarnish the magic. But Disney's always kind of been more than just a theme park. And so now this is just I'm enveloping everybody um, into that culture. So and the company says it's really been doing this for a while now, and policies will continue to gradually change. For example, it's also committed to working with more inclusive vendors, also offering both merchandise and cast, um, costumes that are reflective of all races, ethnic ethnicities, and people with different disabilities. Reporting live outside Walt Disney World, Sierra Pupman Channel 9, Eyewitness News.